Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jordan and today I want to do something special here on the channel. Today I am going to be starting a brand new series called Reality News, covering our favorite realities, virtual, augmented, and mixed reality. This series is most likely going to be very unscripted, hopefully kind of on the fly, off the cuff opinions on some of the articles that I read here. And the goal is to make this a weekly series. God willing, I can get it out to you guys every Wednesday. And if anything changes, I will try to update you guys on either Instagram or Twitter. So go ahead and make sure to follow those. But yeah, before we get started, if you guys could go ahead and leave a like on this video, it definitely helps out small creators like me. And also go ahead and leave a comment down below. I kind of want to do something like comment of the day or comment of the week so that way I can give you guys a shout out here in the videos and you know get your opinions on stuff so yeah let's go ahead and jump into it so for the first story that I want to go over it's actually from my friends over in Europe and Australia it seems that there is a restock of the 64 and 128 gigabyte oculus quest I know everything has been hard to get your hands on while the pandemic and everything is going on but hopefully you can tab out of this video right now frantically click refresh on the oculus store and hopefully get your hands on one unfortunately for those of us here in North America if you do not have one it seems that they won't be shipping until as late as July and for the Rift S in most countries it's still completely unavailable but I have a chart up on the screen right now so you guys can take a look for your country and yeah I also try to leave a link below to this article so you guys can check it out I really do hope you can get your hands on one and if you're able to let me know down below next I actually want to cover two stories uh, one about new eye tracking technology and also new hand tracking technology that Sony's been working on it's actually cool that they are dropping new information now because hint hint I'm actually working on a video about Sony and the PlayStation 5 but just to cover this news today it seems that researchers have come out and they've shown kind of how they're trying to tackle the whole idea of eye tracking now there's not actually a ton of information about it right now but one thing that I do think would be super important uh, especially for a console that's going to be running a VR headset is the sooner that we can get foveated rendering and for those of you who don't know foveated rendering is where the computer renders everything that you're looking at directly and then kind of everything around the peripherals it doesn't work on as much so it might be a little bit more blurry but to our eyes we can't really tell the difference but this way it helps the computer process higher amounts of fidelity in the areas that it matters and everything else that we're not directly looking at it doesn't have to work as hard on that and for something like a console that's not going to have as much computing power this could be super helpful also having eye tracking would be really cool it adds a lot of presence to your character and game and even a couple years ago Facebook showed what they were doing with eye tracking and it was really impressive back then so to know that Sony's working on this in the background is really cool so when it comes to their hand tracking controller, they're actually working on a knuckle style prototype controller, very similar to the, the knuckles controller from the Valve Index. And in the videos that were released, you can see that they have tracking down of all the fingers, including the thumb, which is something that even the index controllers can't do. But this is really promising. Now, the researchers do say that there is a bit of an issue because it's not really available for every hand size, which is something, you know, if they're trying to mass produce this, that they're going to have to figure out. But I do have confidence that this is something they're going to be able to knock out. And yeah, I love to see that we are getting better and more immersive with all the technologies when it comes to tracking. I know that even with the touch controllers that I have, I enjoy them, I love them, I think they work really well, but just to be able to naturally move your hands as you normally would to pick up objects in game, just brings us another step closer to that really high immersive state of VR that we're really looking for. The next story that I want to go over is actually shining a light on a Kickstarter that's currently going on for something called VR Ears. Now as of recording this, it's currently at $155,000 for their Kickstarter. And essentially what it is, is an enhanced audio option for the Quest, the Rift S, the PSVR, and other headsets. Now I do want to say that I definitely think that it's great that a third party company is working on deluxe audio solutions. I want to see as many accessories out there as possible. to. Really give people options especially when it comes to price and performance but i do want to say for anybody who's looking at maybe picking up a rift s or a quest that the current sound solution actually isn't too bad on it i'm not a just complete oculus fanboy and i'm not out here shilling for them because they're definitely not writing me a check 
but if you are looking at grabbing one right now, I actually don't think that it sounds that bad. I live in a crowded household and I play VR in the living room where other people are usually watching TV or maybe talking in the kitchen. And I still feel that I can be immersed in the game. I can still hear all the sounds around me when I'm playing, you know, say dread halls or something like that. And there's noises whispering in my ear. It does a pretty good job of still leaving me immersed and it actually isn't too loud for other people to hear i think the only game that is really loud enough that other people in the room would hear is when i'm playing beat saber but yeah no i definitely think if you want to support rebuff reality on their kickstarter i'll leave a link to it down below like i said as of right now they've already completely surpassed their goal but yeah you can pick one of these up for around 99 dollars, i believe and they're supposed to be shipping around the end of the year i hope it works out i know kickstarter can be kind of sketchy sometimes but yeah, if you want to take that chance, go ahead and join their Kickstarter. And the last story, a couple days ago on Star Wars Day, aka May the 4th, it was announced that Star Wars Vader Immortal was actually going to be leaving Oculus exclusivity and going to be coming to PSVR this summer. I personally haven't played this game. I do know that it has a bit of a mixed reaction. Some people absolutely love it. Some people don't think it's the greatest experience, but I always love when I see something come out of exclusivity and go to other platforms. That way it opens it up, gives more people the chance to try it, and also for these devs who make these games they see okay more people want to play it we have a larger player base so we're going to invest more into vr which is i feel like in the end good for everybody so yeah hopefully look forward to that if you have a psvr and you haven't tried it out and you know check it out on oculus if it's a game that you haven't already played i have a total backlog of games that i still need to get to so i'm just gonna have to add that one to the list Alrighty guys, well that about wraps it up for the video. Uh, one thing I did want to let you know about is I actually made a t-shirt. It is a 3D style Rift ST and I'm going to be linking it down below over on Teespring. So if you want to get it as a t-shirt or a hoodie, you can go ahead and grab one there and support the channel. Also, if there's a headset that you'd like to see in that same design or maybe even something different, let me know down in the comments. My guess is that everyone would want an index t-shirt next, but maybe you guys will surprise me. Maybe you're all on Windows Mixed Reality, who knows? But yeah. So so if you guys enjoyed this video, again, drop a like. It really helps me out. God bless you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.